Hey everybody, Todd here from Image Wash Products. It's a beautiful day in Michigan, and we, behind us we got this 40-foot bus that we're going to give a quick uh, touchless one and two wash. We're going to use our touchless one and two along with the two foam cannons. You can find that on our website at www.washproduct.com. Along with that, we're going to there's some bugs on the front, so typically like what I like to do with this, this thing is not that dirty. However, it was in the rain a little bit. We did some footage on the, the wheels. You can see it the most. This is kind of the wrong color to see the light grime on there, but it's what we got available today. So we're gonna start with uh, typically like I do on the front there, the bugs. We're gonna hit it with our bug remover. Then we're gonna put on our touches one, our touches two, rinse it off. So a lot of guys are always curious. Um, what's the best process, most efficient and less work. And this is a combo that I like to promote for all you guys who like to wash touchless. It is a maintenance wash. So if this bus, let's just say this bus hasn't been washed in maybe, oh, I don't know, a couple months uh, or four weeks, whatever. Sometimes you do got to pull out the brush and give it a little agitation. But if you stay on top of this stuff, and set the settings on the foam cannons, which I'm going to show you how to do, and mix it properly, it works 95% of the time. So uh, today we're just going to go through it. We're going to wash this thing, show you how to do it, how to mix them, the steps to do, and the results. So let's get started. Typically, like I like to do, we're going to start with the touches one. And when you get them in the box, they're nice and sealed up. So just pop that seal. The recommendation on here, I believe, is one to three. So these are 44 ounce cannons and um, they're fatter on the bottom. So if you start filling them up, you're gonna put a little more heavy of an ounce towards the bottom. So what I like to do is I just do 50-50. That kind of removes a lot of variables. Yes, it's a little stronger than when, what, what we recommend, however, it's going to get the job done and you can turn it down with the dilution knob on top. So you might not need it, but if you do need a little extra clean flour, you always can turn it up a notch. So I always put the, the product in first and we're going to fill this about half full. Right there is good to me. Okay, so we got our touches one done. Put that down there. Grab the touches two. It's nice to get all these filled and mixed appropriately. So when you're washing, especially in the summertime, it can get hot and humid and dry and windy. So the soaps like to foam or dry a little faster. So we're gonna get 50-50 on this roughly. All right, I'm happy with that. I got my pitcher of water down here. Top that off. Making some special sauce. That's right. When I wash this thing, I'll probably start in the front. I'm going to spray the bug remover on there. And you can, like I said, foam right over top. I am going to agitate it because... I don't know how long these bugs have been on there. So we will use the brush to scrub it up a little bit because we are going to be putting wax replacement on. Right the cannon. So on the top of these foam heads that you put on there, there's a little, there's a little hole on the side. Um, sometimes it's hard to find, but, um, uh, you know, I like to shake it up. I just put my finger over top that hole, shake it up nice and good. All right, so we got our cooking sauce ready. Um, so like I said, on the top here, you got a dilution knob. This changes the pattern, right? It squeezes those two stainless blades together. So that only changes the pattern. It goes from zero to whatever, 180. On the top here is your dilution knob. So counterclockwise is uh, less chemical, more water, right? So what I do is I turn them wide open. I want it as strong as I can go, okay? 
when you get these cannons, when we ship them to you, sometimes they are all the way open or sometimes they're all the way closed. So you got to check. We've had people call in, say it doesn't work. And when they ship them back, come to find out the dilution knobs were all the way closed. So it wasn't pulling really any soap. So I open them all the way. All right. We got it as strong as we can. Now what I do is I take it and I go back about a half of a turn to three quarters. A good friend of ours that uses this product, he's been telling us about that, and that works really well. Don't use a lot of soap, but you still got enough strength to get all the grime off. So half a turn on each one. Um, if it's summertime and it's really hot, and then turn it up a little bit so you got more suds to help prolong it from drying out. Once we get done with the, the bug remover, okay, that's our prep. We got our wash. Boom. Here's the golden ticket. This is going to help you clean easier next time. This is our wax replacement. We say on here 30 to 60 days, 90 days. Yes, that's all related to what the weather's doing, right? Wintertime, you're not going to get that long of protection. Summertime, you will, just because you're not fighting the elements. So what I like to do with this, I put, I think it says four to eight ounces. I do eight, put eight in there, add your water, shake it up. Like I said, go all the way open, full strength, back it off three quarters of a turn or less, and then foam it on. You can do it right after you get done washing, as long as you're satisfied with it being clean. If you put this over dirt, it will lock the dirt in. So always make sure that it's clean before you put it on. All right, so we got all that figured out. Camera guy, he showed you the rims, how dirty they are. Like I said, we're going to do more content. We're getting back in the game, doing more videos and try to get some dirty stuff. But this is what we got today. Um, I'm using a five and a half gallon a minute machine. We're using RO water, so there will be no water spots, which is really nice. That's another key element for washing. If you have well water and it is not softened, these soaps will not perform as they should. They are tolerable to hard water, but up to a certain degree. So if you're seeing dried streaks or scum afterwards, most likely it is the water. It's not the soaps, unless you didn't rinse it good. But today we're using RO water, so it's pure as pure. We're gonna have rinsing it when we're done, so we don't have to worry about any water spots, so on and so forth. So let's get started. I'm gonna start in the front. I'm gonna split this thing in half. Uh, it's cool out, probably 60 degrees right now. We're not in the sun. So that'll give me enough time. I'm going to move fast. So I'll show you how far to keep it away from the surface. Um, bottom up. Same thing with foam, right? Just foam it up. Your number one is a contact. So you don't need it. You don't need shaving cream on there. Just get it on there. Nice and even. All the way down. Switch over to two. I'm, I got a 60 inch lance. Uh, you're going to see on the end, it's got like a high low nozzle. That's something that comes with our... Um, soap systems that we sell. So if you're interested in that, just reach out to us. We'll hook you up. So, all right, let's get started. Like I said, here's, here's a bug remover. You can see them on there. Um, I have no idea how long they are on there. So this would be a good test for all of us. I'm pretty confident that it will strip them off without brushing. However, we're doing wax replacement today. So I want to make sure that they all get off. Just put a nice dose on there. We sell this stuff in five gallons, one gallons, 32s, 16s. Five gallons is gonna be your best bet, price per gallon, but if you don't have uh, room for storage, then you can buy the 32 or 16 and then buy a gallon to uh, refill it. I don't have no ladder today, like I said, we're just doing a quick one. I'm going to get the little guys way up there. 
Yep. My 60 foot lance will reach it. So, just kind of doing its work. Here we go. Try not to get any on the roof. So I don't have to deal with that later. That's the number one. So now we're going to be putting on number two. Typically what you want to do is when you foam on the one, by the time I, you see how long that took, maybe 15, 20 seconds. I can put my number one on, or number two on it right at, over top. If you're doing like a car, sometimes you can do the whole thing. Um, the longer it's on there, the better, but you got to understand too that you don't want it to dry. So you got to find that happy medium. How about for fun, we scrub one side and don't scrub the other. Rinse bottom up. Bugs are coming right off. These are big machines, so you got to move fast.
Be careful around the windows. Manufacturers tell you not to use a pressure washer on a motorhome or a camper.
Okay, that's it. I am going to brush up by the front driver windshield just because it has a lot of rain that comes off the roof on these things. And they like to um, leave white streaks on the glass. So I am going to touch that area up. I wash these for almost eight years now in my other business detailing so that's the mirror that's about it Try to keep it six inches away. Like I said, I back up on the glass. I don't want to blow water in the coach. The thing you got to remember about motorhomes kind of the same as semis. You got a lot of intricate parts that like to hold a lot of soap suds in them, so you got to rinse really well. It's going to overlap. Try to do like a 40-60, 40% overlap. Got some black streaks there. Sometimes don't get those off unless you wax or buff it, I should say. There's a big difference.
little bit of clear coat coming off the back. Got to be careful of that stuff. Camera. sure how to do this thing. Here it is. Should have done that in the first place. Just getting the remaining silk suds off. You can see it has no really wax protection on it. In some spots it does. All right. <clears throat> so. On this, what we're going to do is we're going to put wax on it. Looks like the right side of the windshield was replaced because it's beating water. See that? But the driver's side's not. I'm, I think the owner told me that he got a new windshield in it. So we're going to put wax replacement on this side to show you the beading power. I'm assuming that is new glass. I don't know why it would do, do the difference. I'll squirt it down so you can see. See how it's not really beating water? See that? It's just kind of sleeting off. We're going to put wax on there and show you the difference. With the wax, with the wax replacement, with the wax replacement, just foam it on, leave it on up to a minute. Understand sun, wind, all that stuff. But if you can leave it on there that long, cool. If not, it still will work, just won't last as long. Okay, we got it covered. You can see it working already. Okay, here we go.
I usually just rinse top down. You're not really cleaning, you're just rinsing. See like a light haze on there when you know that's gone you know you got it off you just want to rinse it really good on the other side. I need to do one quick final rip. Try not to blow water on your roof. Side two. Here we go. Use about a whole can and on a 40 footer. Much better. Get these back up there. Rinse the suds out.
Okay, that's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Um, if you don't have a pressure washer and you like to do an old school method, bucket brush, nothing wrong with that. We got platinum, which is probably our best selling soap paired with wax replacement, or you got your wash and wax, which is traditional. Um, I will say that the platinum cleans better just because there's no wax in the soap, right? And then you got your wax replacement you put on after you get done scrubbing it down. You can put it on with a pump sprayer. You can do a garden hose foamer, pressure washer if you got one. Um, I did it for a long time with a pump sprayer when I washed these. So uh, just because I didn't have access to a pressure washer at certain jobs. But like I said, we got the chemicals for you. Got any questions reach out appreciate everybody hit the link below subscribe go to our website check us out at washproduct.com uh, we're on amazon also soon to be walmart so uh, stop in if you're local but yeah appreciate everybody and have a good day